And so, with all that said, we uh, check out. About to take a trip down memory lane, right, Ash? <laughs> kind of the journey to how we got to here at, for a Transformation Church. Maybe even meet a couple people uh, in the process, so. It was here that we really found our roots yeah. Began to grow as a church. Went from one service to two and then to three. Yeah. Saw amazing things happen. And then that's where we uh, hooked up with Grow. Yeah. And it was here that we started the uh, Grow Track, small yeah. groups. Grow and track, small groups. Things began to take off from there. I was thinking about how many of the things that happened for the first time in this building. Yeah. You know, leadership, like, ministry, leadership, ministry, the vision. The vision happened here. I played drums for the very first service. Yep. First time I ever played drums in a church service was in this building. Yep, you're beginning as a youth pastor. I, my, yep, I started yeah. as a student pastor in this building. This uh, is where you tried to be a worship leader. This is where I, I was a worship <laughs> leader. This is where I tried to sing, but that didn't work out. That was not, not in my favor. A lot of our leaders today were young adults and teens here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we just see the vision going from one generation to another, and, and really it started here. This is where God began to deal with us about the transition and, and you becoming pastor eventually, and uh, that was years. Yeah. You know, we took several years of that journey, and and uh, those were exciting times, you know. When we left here, we went to DeSoto. Yeah. So we should go take a stroll over there and see uh, yeah. what's going on yep. over there. More stories there for sure. Yeah, yep. exactly. So we get a call from uh, from the church from Brownsville, and they tell us like, "Hey, come check this out. It's gonna be it's a great opportunity. You guys can move in." And so we go look at the building, and when we go look at the building, um, we're like, "Yeah, this this could work." And so we literally um, like start make, setting plans in motion. I think what we totally underestimated was the amount of work it was gonna take to be in the building, but nonetheless. We head over here to uh, this facility and we launch, uh, we go into two services. There was a pretty significant culture shift that started taking place here. The vision here really opened up some. This is an important stop in the journey because it was like, this is where we transitioned. Like, so this is where, you know, I took over as lead pastor, you know, and you moved into the founding pastor role. And so even the story of how Justin comes on the scene was, <laughs> was interesting it was. to say the least. It was. I had known you guys for a long time and even people in your church and we had done things together as churches up to this yeah. point and, and events and things like that. Um, and my very first Sunday, I had already was already technically on staff. I'd never been to a church service here, right. but, and um, I remember I remember telling telling you after, so you know, y'all always say that your church is pretty diverse, and you just think, oh, that's cool. And I was I was shocked at how diverse it was, yeah. and not just racially, but even in the age. Yeah, getting the building ready a lot was of work, a lot of work. A lot of work, and uh, <laughs> we started the Haven here. Uh, yeah, you know, that's true. Uh, the Haven was birthed here. You know, our ministry for uh, children with special needs and families. And Building a healthy culture. One of the big things I know is like God doesn't send healthy people to unhealthy environments. Yeah. So we were always knew we were on the cusp of growth, like on the catalyst of growth, but we didn't quite know what it looked like. And I think that it was God holding us back from a couple things, um, getting us healthy because he was getting us ready for something that was coming. We got a letter and a phone call. You did, got a letter and a phone call. and was like, hey, you're you're out of this building in three months. And uh, I don't think any of us expected what was coming next. No, so. it was cool. Yeah. Well, let's go check that one out then. Literally between John in the creative department, Justin 
and Karen with the teams, and then myself, Kyle, <laughs> with uh, all the stinking infrastructure for how to make a church service happen inside of a movie theater. Uh, a lot of times churches take six months to pull that off, sometimes longer. Uh, we had like six weeks to get everything ready for uh, AMC, but it's been pretty crazy since we moved in here. Coming here to AMC has been great. Um, we've seen like, I think it was over 150 people meet the Lord since we came in here. So yeah. it's been crazy. What's been one of your favorite parts? Uh, just the excitement of seeing the team come together. You know, the breakdown set up and the energy and the life and just the camaraderie of everybody too. And honestly, one of the things I think it did for us on a, in a big way is when you start talking about multiple campuses, it taught us how to build systems in a portable environment that maybe we never really thought of. A lot of new families. Yeah. You know, like every Sunday, Kathy and I sit right there on the edge and it's like hey, every we're Sunday in. we're going, okay, <laughs> Who are new, these people? <laughs> new, new, don't know them, new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it's really exciting yeah. to yeah. see what God's done. Yeah, it's like some new opportunities are rolling up yeah. on us. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, well, let's go have a look at what might be next. The craziest thing happens when we're at AMC. So one of our overseers asked me, he said, if you could have a church anywhere, where would you go? I mean, I would love to be on the north side of town, close to Navy Federal. It's just booming out there. Debbie, our agent, had this conversation with the lady that works in her office. And she says, the church I go to um, has this building and it's full, It's not even for sale. This was the crazy part. Um, but we've been talking to our agent because we think we're gonna have to sell it soon. Justin is pulling in the parking lot to meet our agent while this conversation is happening. Like total God thing. Building's not on the market yet. And if you guys wanna buy it, there's a good chance you can get it. This is in January of 2019. We get the phone call. Hey, uh, we're ready to make that move. And we want you guys to come do it. They don't wanna sell it to anybody but us. They're not gonna go for more money than what we offered them a year ago, even though they know they could get it. And that's crazy. With all that said, check out our new location. What's up guys, hey, come on in. What's up guys? Hey, uh, so we're super pumped, super excited uh, to be showing you everything that's in the facility now. And so, uh, as you can see, we're in the, kind of the main auditorium, sanctuary, uh, and it, it fits every need that we were talking about. Like, it's really crazy. So what we're gonna do is just kind of take you guys through the facility for a few minutes. Um, just kind of walk through, show you some of the things that are around, and uh, yeah, so welcome home. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of the whole building. Despite the fact that I know we gotta have church somewhere, I know we need a sanctuary and a main auditorium, I know we need kids' classrooms, I know what we need all that. One of my favorite things is actually this spot right here. Um, <clears throat> Cause uh, we're gonna need to do some renovations in here to get it up to, uh, up to 2020. But with that said, man, um, we're bringing a gym to Transformation Church, which as you guys all know, is my heartbeat. Like athletic programs, basketball, outreach, the amount of things we can do with a gym strictly because of the nature of who we are as a church uh, gives us huge, huge outreach opportunities. When you start to look at how big it is, so to be able to build a stage back here, have a full length basketball court here, um, and so actually, if you want to follow me for a second, what's happening here is all of the, 
all of the stuff here, the balcony and all the all that is actually going to get torn out. Um, and so once we tear that out all the way to the back wall, then we'll have enough space for the staging, the full basketball court in here. So Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday, Sunday afternoons, whatever um, basketball we can go on uh, in the gym. All right, guys. So welcome to the new Transformation Church. This is the place we're calling home from now on. I think one of the things that's important to remember is that this doesn't give us this isn't the end. This doesn't give us the opportunity to stop dreaming. This gives us the opportunity to start dreaming, right? And so the facility isn't the end. The facility isn't the vision even. The facility is the catalyst for where the vision is about to go. So we don't stop now that we're here. We start now that we're here. So everything that's happened in Transformation Church's journey, whether it was Fairfield, whether it was DeSoto, whether it was AMC, it was all steps in God's plan to get us here right now. And this is where we begin our future. This is what we get to call home. And this part of town, this part of our city, and the people that we're about to reach, that's the vision. Because we're gonna keep seeing people transform from who they are to who God wants them to be. All right, guys, so uh, thank you for stopping by. We're so excited. And uh, man, the new home of Transformation Church. Just remember, this is just the beginning.